Pollution in people. A new study tested 10 Oregonians for toxins. Researchers discovered all 10 had levels of chemicals from pesticides to mercury. K2's Susan Harding tells us the researchers chose some well-known names to test. Right, Susan? That's right. The volunteers included singer Linda Hornbuckle and Dr. Alan Bates, Oregon Senate Majority Whip. All of the volunteers were from very different walks of life, but all tested positive for toxic chemicals. A mother of two was also <laughs> tested. Kathy Bloom had the lowest levels of phthalates. That's a chemical commonly found in plastics. A few years ago, she decided to limit her and her kids' exposure to plastics and says she thinks it's paying off. So that does show that you can make these choices to get rid of some of these chemicals from your body. I switched from my hard plastic water bottle that I carry on all the time to an aluminum water bottle. Researchers with the Oregon Environmental Council says chemicals like phthalates, PFCs, and BPAs are in products you'd find around the house. And their examples include items you'd find in the bathroom, like deodorant or aftershave. And they say chemicals leach out of Teflon pans and plastics in the microwave. However, the EPA says the levels are too low to be dangerous. Now, if you would like to be tested for toxins, you can ask your doctor, but it is expensive, about $2,000, and insurance usually doesn't cover it. I'm Susan Harding. Back to you, Anna. Susan, thanks very much.